Hi, Virgo Summon Rising in Venus. This is what we got going on for October 16, 2023. Hey, if you'd like to make a purchase, you can go ahead and do so at tarotbarbie.com. I got crystal sage incense, personal readings, and much more. Let's get a Virgo's coming with the Six of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles, and the King of Cups. Um, it just... It, there's an Aries Leo Sagittarius who simply just wants to come towards you guys. This person wants to spoil you, take you out... Definitely, they make they may even want to get you a nice outfit, make you really feel really beautiful or handsome or whatever the case is. But this is definitely an entrepreneur, businessman, or a woman. But they're definitely their masculine energy, and they have no problem spending their money on you. They have no problem making you feel good, look good, whatever it is. They feel like because they have you, they feel like they're literally on top of the world. But at the same time, some of you guys might be feeling a little bit sad or down. Maybe you guys could have been dealing also with another Virgo, maybe in the past past. And while this person comes in, now this new person comes into your life. Uh, all of a sudden, it's like a lap overlapped energy. Somebody from the past all of a sudden wants to reach back out to you. But before they reach out to you, they're still having to go through their sadness, their depression, their misery, their bullshit because of how they treated you. They know that the way that they treated you wasn't freaking fair. It wasn't fair with the way with the way that they treated you. Absolutely not. And the way that they had did you guys was disgusting, literally disgusting. And for that, now they're having to feel the repercussions of their actions. So they're in hermit. They're reflecting on how they were rude, how they took advantage of you, how you didn't deserve it, how they feel absolutely horrible and guilty for what they've done to you. And they're trying to reflect on the relationship with the two of cups. I think deep down, some of you guys might still be lingering on in this person's energy or you guys are still missing this person in some sort of way. So even though there's a new person coming towards you guys, you guys still kind of have like this high hope that maybe somebody from the past is going to still come back towards you guys. But they're not going to come in just yet, Virgos, because this person here, they're, they're in deep hermit. Let people go into hermit. <laughs> By the time they come out of hermit, nobody's there. <laughs> so it is what it is and then this guy over here this king of wands they're definitely coming in with a with an emotional offer they have something to obviously offer you with the four source of the ten of pentacles maybe this person wants to a little be a little bit cautious with how maybe they're a little bit precautious with how it is that they want to offer you um this opportunity to be with you or take you out maybe they want to take you out to a really nice restaurant or take you out or spend money on you. You know, this is a man man who actually provides, protects, and spoils their woman or vice versa. But they want to kind of take it a little bit. They want to just make sure that they're not moving in a wrong way with the four swords reverse. Because I feel like this person sees you as the ten of pentacles. And they feel like they got so much love and emotion for you that they don't really want to scare you off. Especially if you may have ended up telling this person about anybody from the past. Which I don't recommend you doing. Leave the past in the past and don't let people know what you've been through because if you let them know what you've been through, then they're like, okay, then you give them the opportunity to treat you the exact same way. So don't let them. Put your standards high. If they, they got to reach you at some in some sort of way, shape, and form, they got to reach you. They got to reach your level. So level up, Virgos. You're the Ten of Pentacles and they know damn well that you're the Ten of Pentacles. So leave the past in the past. If you guys are open to receiving this new love that's going to be able to come in for you guys to spoil you, care for you, love you, protect you, provide for you, the entire nine, accept it. But somebody here is being very cautious with how it is that they choose to come towards you or maybe even to express their feelings towards you guys. They got a ton of love for you with the Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups, Five of Pentacles, and the Queen of Cups. You guys got a lot of feelings for this person too. And it's time that this person is going to be, this new person is going to make you guys feel very much so worthy. They're going to make you feel so much love. You are of love. You have so much unconditional love within you that it's like you, it's like now you kind of like know why it didn't work out with anybody else in the past. Because when somebody actually gives you love and treats you well and takes care of you and, ha and makes you feel good and you guys are doing really well together, it makes sense why somebody from the past couldn't be, wasn't able to give that to you because God had somebody else waiting for you guys, Queen of Cups. Uh, you guys got a lot of love and a lot of feelings for this person. More so, you've done a lot of work on yourselves too, especially with self-love, self-healing energy. But you're way more stronger than now than ever before. And I feel like at the same time, with the Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands, this is a new blessing in disguise, whether you're aware of it or not. Some of you guys may have been single for a long time, like going within, trying to figure out what's going on with your love life. Nonetheless, though... It's time for you guys to come out of that five of pentacles in reverse. And it's caused, like, you guys got so much pain, especially from people who betrayed you, cheated on you, lied to you, left you confused, 
all the options that you had had was never anything substantial. It was never anything permanent. It was never anything long term. It was always short term, short lived, like nothing lasts forever. It's like I always tell you guys, nothing lasts forever. Love can be either your the your your the biggest thing or it can be such a painful situation. But it looks like you guys have been through a lot of pain and stop with the moping and whatever the case is, Virgos, you guys are going to be able to overcome the, with the strength card, you'll be able to overcome it, you know, people need to, even the people that you were in relationships who broke your heart, they all got to be careful with you, they all, especially for those that are in this, in, who are spiritual and stuff, it's just already energy that's on you, it doesn't, you don't have to be doing this type of work, it's just that you're just spiritually loved and guided and also protected and you're going to be able to come out of this situation a lot more stronger knowing the pain that this person may have caused you with the hermit that's upright. And in the end, some of you guys might even have to kind of like reflect on this new person and everything like that because of the fact that you guys have been through so much pain. It's like you have to go within and reflect on this relationship, reflect on this king of wands and the emperor. You guys got to figure out what exactly is this connection? Is this a connection that is... I don't feel like they're taking advantage, but I think you guys have been taking advantage so much that you are like, an opportunity is coming towards you, and then you all of a sudden you get back into your feelings, and you're just like, I don't know if I deserve this. Like, what do you mean? Why don't you? De- why don't you? Why don't, why, why don't you deserve it? Right. So it's like you have to get out of the three of swords now. You got to get out of the three of swords because that's a lot of pain, and it's still upright. So it's kind of like your your heartbreak and your pain still kind of leaves you held back it holds you back from being able to move forward but once you guys come in with the seven of cups and come to the realization of why things never worked out then you guys can overcome it with the strength card and in the end there is going to be a little bit of truth being told especially truth being cut through on the moon energy that whatever has been hidden is going to be coming to light whatever has been hidden in the dark is coming to light especially the truth all the truth is coming in this moon energy is bringing in the truth for everybody and some people might be arguing and fighting because of the fact that this moon is bringing in the truth. It's exposing what's hidden and with the five of wands, eight of swords, somebody here might be having a little bit of stress. Maybe they're scared. Maybe they are having anxiety and you guys look like you're not really going to be worried about it a whole lot. You guys look like you're moving on with your life. Three of wands, three of cups. You guys are doing the healing. You guys are probably going to go hang out with some people and spend your time with a few people that you like and want to hang around with. And in the end, it's like you guys are ready to leave the bullshit in the past. You don't have time to be arguing and being stressed out over other people. Especially whatever truth is going to be coming to surface. Like the truth is about to be exposed or that you guys are seeking the truth with the Ace of Swords and the Moon card. Because the Moon, she's looking at the Ace of Swords and it's like, you know intuitively something is being, something is wrong. You know something is wrong. Your soul's telling you something is wrong with the moon card, but you're going to be able to see it just now. You are, you're already probably getting the downloads. You're probably already getting your intuition probably on point. You're probably sensing and feeling all this shit too. So you're just like, okay, I'm just waiting for the truth. Whenever the truth comes through, it's going to come through. And um, yeah, just a lot of bullshit competition, arguing, and the stress and the arguments is causing a lot of problems. And it's almost like somebody wants to walk out that door, three of wands, and then go straight to the freaking uh, three of cups energy too. And then this one here. <sighs> the eight of wands, chariot, ten of wands, and the empress card. It could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, a Cancer who wants to come towards you guys very fast. This person wants to speak to you. And they really kind of just want to let you know how they really do feel about you. You guys might feel like this person is kind of selfish in their own little tiny ways or they don't really think about anyone else's feelings except themselves but realistically speaking they're almost gonna like bring all their bullshit towards you and you're just like you're like this healer you're like this empress energy so (laughs) they're coming towards you with like so much that they have to say or baggage or whatever the case is and it's almost like they dump it on you it's like somebody here always dumps their crap onto you it's like you never really get to express or say anything that you want to say but then it's like always people are always dumping their shit on you you know what I mean it's like people need to be very careful with that energy because spirit doesn't look like they're happy with it and they might come directly for you they don't like that they don't like it when people they don't like it that because you guys carry the empath energy people are you're always going to attract 
many people, especially people who want to have their dark days and then dump their crap onto you. And then it's like, you, thank you for making me feel better. <laughs> okay. And then it's like, well, thank you for making me feel like shit because I've now absorbed all your crap and now I have to figure it out how to take care of myself. Like people need to be kind of very careful energetically with why they're, what they're doing to people. Uh, 10 on one, you got to be really careful with what you're doing to people. It's not nice, all right? That's just a side note, but there is going to be a cancer in Aries Leo Sagittarius who feels burdened by their energy. They feel burdened by the fact that uh, they're not being able to express themselves to you or speak to you, but maybe this person is going to be going through a lot of shit themselves too, but they do want to come towards you. I don't feel like you guys are being hateful at all in this energy at all. Like You guys are coming as the empress, right? So because you're like, okay, sweetheart, what's going on with you? Are you okay? I see that you're going through a lot of shit. What do you need help in? <laughs> like you're always a helper. You're always helping people. And even if this person could be a lover or whatever, even if they come towards you, I don't really see you being an asshole. I don't feel like Virgos are really all that much of an asshole. Maybe some of you guys are. And that's not a big deal. Do what you want to do. Be who you want to be. Be be you. Be very fucking much so unapologetic. Be very fucking much so unapologetic. Don't apologize. If you don't feel like you want to have anybody in your energy, yo, go on with your day. Let them know exactly where they where where people stand. Be unapologetic. People need to respect your boundaries and respect your energy, especially for those who will carry empath energy. Now, this one here, they want to come towards you pretty fast and they want to speak to you. They have a lot to say to you at the same time, so expect a lot of message between now and the next eight days. This person's going to be contacting you. Uh, maybe even specifically today on October 16th, I do kind of sense and feel like there's going to be a lot of communication between you and somebody on October 16th that they're just going to all of a sudden go, Broop, hello, I'm here. And you guys are going to have to figure out whether or not you want to speak to them straight up October 16th today. You guys are going to be receiving some sort of message from this person. And in the end, it's like this person finds you very attractive. You guys seem to have really good chemistry, but this person definitely misses you. There could be a Taurus for Capricorn who wants to come back towards you guys are just feeling really nostalgic right now. I've sense and feel like a lot of you guys are kind of like skipping Halloween energy and you guys are kind of like feeling nostalgic over Christmas. Uh, be careful Virgos because you guys are just kind of like, you guys are like two months ahead. It's like you guys are, you guys are up, you know what I mean? So some of you guys might be feeling nostalgic over for Christmas right now or just feeling really lonely that, you know, you guys are probably thinking you're like, damn, I'm going to be lonely for Christmas. But please, Virgos, you're never alone, you know? You're, you, there's always people around you guys who are, more, I'm pretty sure, who are more than happy to, to have, have you around them. Uh, with the Eight of Wands, the Lover's Card, King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, I expect a lot of messages coming in from this person. They are still energetically wanting to see you, talk to you, be with you. Maybe this person has to travel towards you, but maybe you guys are kind of like feeling this person's energy or you're feeling their nostalgia or you're feeling them being nostalgic or whatever but they're definitely missing you and maybe you guys are missing them too this person could potentially be very stoic but they want to come back and they want to heal the relationship with the temperance card and work on it and see what they can do to fix the connection I don't feel like the connection is done and over just yet they want to come towards you because they still have feelings for you at the end of the day <sighs> and in the end, it's like, here they come. They're coming in with the Knight of Cups, coming in to ask you out on a date. Maybe you're going to be working while this person is contacting you, reaching out to you. Maybe they need your advice. Maybe they need some sort of guidance. Whatever it may be, this person's coming towards you, male or female, with the Knight of Cups. Maybe they want to apologize to you, and you're still having to set your boundaries with the Seven of Wands just to make sure everybody is very clear with where you stand um, but I do see that there is somebody here who could be spiritual or on their spiritual journey who may need to get a little bit of advice from you or they need some sort of guidance from you as well with the Hierophant and the Eight of Pentacles. You guys are going to be working when this person reaches out to you. And in the end, I also see that this person here, two Virgos, that they want to take you out and some of you guys might be busy working and it's like listen I get off at seven o'clock because there's time is here the time is there I don't I get off at seven <laughs> you know <clears throat> not me not me you you guys get off at like seven o'clock in the evening or any time later in the evening eight o'clock seven o'clock nine o'clock some of you guys get off at 10 you guys are working like 12 hour shifts I don't understand why you're working 12 hour shifts Okay, work overtime if you want to, but I don't know why some places you guys working fucked up hours. 
with the seven of wands and the wheel of fortune, that's the time. That is just simple, the time. Like It's like if this person wants to contact you, reach out to you, and they want to talk to you about how they want to work on this relationship, hire a fit, so that way you guys can get together and meet up. It's like you got to have to let this person understand that you got a time and a schedule that you got to work on. And if you guys get off at 7 o'clock or 8 o'clock in the evening, you got to let them know. They are going to be sitting down waiting for you until you reach back out to them. But with this King of Swords, he's ready to take action and come towards you. So while the time that you're telling this person, listen, but I got to work. I'm working right now. I'm going to be done work in an hour, 7, whatever. It doesn't matter what kind of work you do. You're just going to say, I'm busy working. I, when I get off work, I'll come contact you so when this energy comes in they're going to be like okay no problem so they become the king of swords now they're taking action and they're plotting and planning and strategizing on what it is that they exactly want to be saying towards you guys they are plotting and planning on what they want to say to you at the bottom oh and also virgos here let me just read the energy quickly for you guys okay because another one um Virgos, you guys have maybe an interview that's going to be coming in for you guys. Make sure that you guys are getting compensated for the right amount of money. You're not taking anything less than what, you, what you've always had. If you guys were always getting paid, like, I don't know, let's just say $16 an hour, and you guys are boss months at your work that you do, and you're legitimately amazing. You want to be able to go up a little bit more money than that. You got to let this uh, boss man know that you want to be compensated or that you want a raise or some sort of promotion or salary upgrade. But anyway, you're going to get it. At the end of the day, I do feel like you are going to get it with the Six of Pentacles, Six of Wands because you do such fantastic work or because you guys are walking in and you got a fantastic CV or resume, whatever it may potentially be. These people here are on your side. You guys might be having an interview with two men or two women who you guys are going to have to sit down and talk to and try and figure out what's going on. Some of you guys are just really disappointed with how work has life has been for you guys you guys are going to be just kind of having to always fall back and do your own thing but it looks like you guys are going to sit down with this person and have a conversation with them be careful with the five of swords to the five of cups you guys need to check to try to change your demeanor not every workplace is going to be the exact same thing so always remember that and then you got the king of cups four of swords ten of pentacles you guys go directly into big money here that's big money you know, you guys got a lot of money on the way for you guys. Make sure you guys are not messing this job up with the four of swords in reverse. Don't mess that job up. Don't you fucking do it, Virgos. So this opportunity is going to be able to come towards you guys and help you guys come out of the debt that you guys placed yourselves in with the five of cups in reverse, ace of wands, ace of cups too. So job offers here. People are going to love you. They're going to enjoy you. Blessings upon blessings, prosperity, abundance, passion, desires are all going to be coming towards you. And you guys have been through a lot of pain, especially in workplaces that didn't really value you at all and didn't really appreciate your energy. 1717 17 comes down down to 8-8 eight, eight energy, which is for me is the infinity symbol. symbol. So I feel like your wheel of fortune is going to start turning in your favor and you're going to be able to get the career or the job that you guys are looking for. Make sure you guys stay strong no matter what. No matter what, Virgos, they said stop. They said you stop wiping your tears. You guys be crying so friggin' much. All you do is sit there and you wipe your own tears. It's time to start healing yourselves, please, Virgos. For the love of God, heal yourselves. And in the end, it's like you know that you can have the victory. You can have the triumph. And there could be a little bit of competition that could be coming into the workplace. But even then, I feel like the energy is not even like really a whole lot like that. I feel like the energy is more so like. The work that you guys do is very competitive, like incredibly competitive. It's it's not easy work. Listen, you want to get paid the Ten of Pentacles? You got to bust your ass off. You want to get paid the Ten of Pentacles? 250000 a year, 300000 a 100000 whatever it may be, 40, 70, I don't care what it is. You want to get that type of money, Ten of Pentacles? Then you're going to have to bust your ass off and work because the energy is so competitive at the workplace that it might got you guys a little bit fucked up and a little bit scared like oh shit am I even able to keep up with this work you said up there that you was bl brilliant so yo show that you're brilliant <laughs> if you're saying oh listen boss I'm too brilliant I need to get comp make sure that you're working make sure you're working and that means if you got to work over time you got to work over time because you got to get the projects done five of wands the 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 work is competitive as fuck but not even just the workplace uh the the job itself the projects the work the the paperwork, it's all competitive. But I do feel like at the same time, it might stress you guys out a little bit because some of you guys have some sort of vacation or trip that's coming in and you guys are going to be going to some sort of party, three of cups. 
and I think everything's going to be okay at the end of the day. You guys are going to have, when you guys come back from your workplace, from your trip or whatever, you guys are going to have so much work you have to do. And you're just going to be like, listen, boss, I got work to do. But you will be able to receive the help that you guys need and everything will work out. Um, <laughs> with the six of cups to the eight of cup energy, I do feel like there could potentially be somebody from the workplace who might end up getting terminated and they might start accommodating to other people, meaning they will be terminating certain people so that way they can make room for bigger and better people. People like you who want to be successful and who want to make shit work, right? Who has no problem uh, going within the five of wands and competing and, and having and going through challenges. You know, how do you utilize your work space and time when there's a challenge that comes towards you? How do you utilize your workplace when there's a challenge or there's a competitive competitiveness or when there's competitive work that comes towards you how do you utilize that if you need to sit down and figure that out and take a minute figure it out Virgos because you're always going to have to no matter what you're always going to come into challenges in life it could be through your workplace the work uh, criteria the employees the work ethic whatever it may simply be there's always going to be challenges the whole point is having to overcome the challenges and I think in the end you are going to be absolutely great at doing that and then just be careful because there's also going to be maybe a love offer or you guys are going to meet somebody at your workplace with the King of Pentacles lover's card. This person is going to be like, mm, who is that cute girl? I want to get to know that cute girl. So with the Six of Cups, it's like, hmm. Oh, they also said from the last part, like maybe somebody here asked to ha is going to be asking you guys for forgiveness, Virgos. Uh, like asking you for forgiveness so that way you guys can fix the relationship but then at the same time on the king of pentacles six of cups somebody here wants to make you some sort of offer you gotta make them feel a little bit nostalgic too i don't know what it is with the king of pentacles like you kind of make them like if you guys are working with this person you make them feel nostalgic whatever memories it is that you kind of cause this person to have it's like you guys are I guess they're taking me back into the next reading. I, okay, we're done. We're done with the we're, we're done with the job reading for now. Uh <laughs> with this so it's like somebody here is like look looking back at all the memories you had between you and them and the way that maybe you guys ended up having to walk away over the fact that they were not maybe treating you well. So this person's going to come back towards you because the memories, the thoughts, the nostalgia, it's really affecting them and it's getting them in their feelings and they really do want to come back and they want to work on the fixing this relationship. But they are coming for you guys here. Also, Virgos, that offer is going to be presented to you guys with the Knight of Cups Hierophant. Maybe another opportunity is going to be coming towards you guys too. So now you guys got this job place working, you working there, and then another opportunity is going to come for you. Find out how much money they're making. Find out how much money they're going to be giving you here. If they're going to be make, topping you up from whatever the Ten of Pentacles is over here, okay, go on with your day. Do what you need to do. But if they're not going to compensate you and they're only going to give you a little bit, then I would recommend that you deal with the Five of Wands and you bust your ass off and you work hard because nothing in life comes easy no one's coming in to hold your hand so you gotta lick your own fucking wounds and you gotta get shit going three of wands all right i know that's very mean to say but it really just comes down to that because you guys are working at a workplace this is a workplace that comes in with a lot of money so time to level up in life time to become an adult <laughs> knight of cups hierophant that job is yours if you want it if you want it job's yours um, make sure that you guys are setting time and boundaries with certain people, especially people who are, who are throwing their job work on you or making you do more extra work. It's like, nah, dog, the fuck you mean? I got a whole pile of shit over here. I got to get to how you want me to do your work. But the thing with Virgos is Virgos does everyone's work and they all get it done on time. So you guys got like an expiry date coming in for you guys with the wheel of fortune, and the seven of wands. It's like, you guys have, you there's, there's like time frames on the work that you guys do. You guys got to get to it, Virgos. There's a time frame here. You guys got to get to it. I don't have that much time. At the bottom of the deck, you guys got the page of pentacles. Okay, expect a message coming in from a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This person wants to reach out to you. Maybe you guys may not want nothing to do with this person because whatever it is that they may have done to you guys in the past, it didn't make you guys feel good. You guys don't really feel like their little petty message coming in with the page of pentacles is a whole lot of shit. 
nothing to be impressed about obviously you guys are standing in your power you're beautiful you're handsome you're the entire nine and the fact that they may have had the audacity to literally reject you guys in the past or whatever they're obviously stressed out about it is affecting them really badly with the nine of swords tower card two of pentacles you might be a little bit indecisive on whether or not you actually want to accept this offer like you may reject it to be honest you guys may reject it right away like boom no things and then it's obviously going to cause more problems and challenges and obstacles and whatever but then it's like you go back now with the two of pentacles you're like damn did i make the right decision and then they come back again for you they're not going to leave you alone this is somebody who's going to reach out to you you reject them they're like fuck they rejected me now i gotta figure it out now they come back again page of cups so they come in with a different type of approach and this person feels like you're a star. They feel like you're a star. They feel like you're a limelight. They feel like they need to speak to you, talk to you. They feel like you being in there, you being around them and surrounding them, it's like making them feel a little bit small in a way because the way that you guys carry yourself is so big up there, you know? You're a star. Nobody does anything better than you. You do it the best. You are the best. And that just really, that's what it comes down to. And you guys should be really confident and really proud of yourselves with the Nine of Pentacles. You're single. You're happy. You're multitasking. You can juggle a whole lot of shit. Even when you guys are going through all these fucked up energies with the Tower card, Nine of Swords, even when you guys are stressed out, even when you guys got so much problems in your life, even when you guys are feeling unstable or your money's fucked up, whatever it may be, you you guys do very friggin well multitasking you're amazing at it you're amazing at it you're very very good congratulations virgos on being able to utilize that energy because i just see like you guys are like juggling 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 you're just like yeah what's up like i'm gonna juggle this one i'm gonna throw it up in the air and i'm gonna catch it in the next five minutes <laughs> so it's like you guys know how to utilize your time and also your energy as well which is amazing for you guys um so this page of cups here now it's like while you've been sitting here doing the healing for yourselves to be the independent woman or independent man and coming out of codependent relationships from the past, it's like now this person wants to come back. They want to heal the connection and fix their ways, right? But some of you guys might be very defensive because you guys are this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You guys may be a little bit defensive because it might be this person may have had, uh, they're just weak. It is what it is. Like just toxic fucking for real shit. And in the end, it's just, they got, they got certain addictions. So you guys might be a little bit, uh, um, defensive over, I can't even talk on it. Like, I'm just like, oh, oh, that's toxic as fuck. That's not even just toxic. That's beyond toxic. That's, that's the worst this is the worst kind of toxic you can think of. Oh my God, I only have three minutes left. Also, Virgos, let's move on to something else now. Whatever you guys had that was going on, especially with the devil card to the three of coins, some of you guys are coming in from a definitely, some of you guys got a, def, a definite uh, toxic work environment and you guys might be starting to realize how toxic and how negative it honestly is. And you guys are able to sense and feel everybody's energy, especially those who are being so sneaky and disrespectful towards you. But Spirit's not gonna be able to spirit is not keeping up spirit is not appreciating anything that your enemies are doing onto you guys especially with the fact that your enemies are keep continuously sending you really really stupid and dark energies you guys are the ten of cups you guys hold the fucking community you guys are the ones that are holding it all the fuck down you guys know how to make a place a happy place and all these people know how to do is try and freaking siphon take away uh, sneak you do you one they're, they're a bunch of cowards that's what these people are i would like to see any of your enemies come straight to your face and be like hey you know what today i don't like you i'm gonna fuck you up with black magic like, I, I, I would like to see that actually happen because we know damn, damn well it's never gonna happen it's not it's never gonna happen because they don't have the guts to fucking do it because they're not a man and they're not a woman to admit when they don't like you some people <laughs> yo <laughs> they'll tell you straight to your face listen i don't fuck with you i don't like you and I know what you're doing to me. And there's other people who are, who they're, they're, they will never admit it. They will never admit it. They will never in their life admit it. They will take it. They will take it to the end. They will never admit it. All right. So just remember that. <laughs> With the Seven of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, and the Ace of Pentacles, it's time for you guys to also start taking action. There could be a page, a Gemini Libra Aquarius who is watching the fact that you guys might be going through a lot of toxic stuff, or there could be. A little bit of investigation that is going to be happening at the workplace. I do feel that there is investigation that might be happening at the workplace in some sort of way, shape, and form. I'm not going to get into the energy because this energy could be also online. It could be anywhere around the world. It could be on anything, any type of platform. It could be anything. I'm not going to get into it. It's none of my business. I'm going to leave it to 
the community, a ten of the Pentecost, people don't, probably don't even realize that they're being freaking washed and they're being washed and it is what it is, soft energy. When you know you're not doing wrong and everyone else is wrong, they all got to be careful, no? Seven of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, and the Ace of Pentacles, you're the one that is walking with a lot of integrity. You're smart, you're intelligent, you're wise. You know exactly when to take action. If a Gemini Libra Aquarius comes towards you guys and they want to come in and sneak back into your life and, and they're saying watch your back from this person because they're so quick to make quick actions and decisions that they cut anything off at any given time but this person here knows that they betrayed you really badly and they're going to try and come back in and try and manifest you guys in some sort of way here and they want to heal the connection but a lot of you guys have been so much in fighter mode with the world card nine of wands that if anybody comes towards you you're just like yes can I help you what is it that you need and this person thinks that they're going to be able to come back into your life freely but they have to come to the realization Virgos that if they didn't make the the changes in their life i don't got much time i'm not gonna be able to finish the reading if they don't got enough time they uh they don't if they don't come back towards you guys wisely they need to be very careful but i think in the end this person's gonna make the right decisions to come back towards you because they're still holding on to your energy they might want to make the relationship work and they see you as the four of wands so your reunion is coming in for you thanks cuties bye